Happy Wednesday, boys and girls. Okay, today we are going to look at another fraction lesson, and we're going to represent equivalent fractions with area and length models by explaining that a fraction with the same numerator and denominator equals one whole. We're going to do that first. And then we're going to express whole numbers as fractions and recognize fractions that are equivalent to whole numbers. So let's start with a fraction with the same numerator and denominator. So let's do halves. We have two halves that looks like this, and we write it like, let me move this out of the way. We write it like this, two halves. One half plus one half is two halves. So when the numerator and denominator are the same, that's the same as one whole. Now with thirds, we would have one third, two thirds, three thirds. So three thirds or three out of three equals a whole. If this were a candy bar and we cut it into three pieces, three equal pieces, each piece would be a third. And if you got three thirds, you would have one third, two thirds, three thirds, which is exactly the same amount as one whole. Now what about six? How many six would be one whole? One six, two six, three six, four six, and five. One six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six six. So six six is the same thing as one whole. When the numerator is the same as the denominator, that's exactly the same as one whole. Now we're going to look at expressing whole numbers as fractions. Okay, now we're going to use our circle fractions for a couple of minutes. We're looking at fourths. So if we put these together, two-fourths is a half, then three-fourths, then four-fourths. Four-fourths is one whole. So how many fourths are two wholes? Let's put this together and see. If four-fourths is equal to one whole, then... How would we write this fraction? How many fourths do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight fourths. So eight fourths is equal to two wholes. Let's try another one. Okay, my next question for you is how many thirds are in three holes? And I want you to, first of all, let's draw, let's draw it out. So pick up your pencil on your scrap paper and let's use circles here. Try to make them the same size. One, two, three. Okay, and we are going to Try and figure out how many thirds are in three holes. So under that, I'm going to write three holes is equal to how many thirds? So we're going to go ahead and divide each circle into three equal pieces. And remember, the easiest way to do that is to put a dot in the middle and just kind of kind of eyeball it as equal as you can. They're not going to be perfect and that's okay as long as they're pretty close. Thirds. Three equal parts. Let's 
close to equal as possible. And if you need to stop and erase some fixtures, you can. And remember, we always label the fractional units. So each piece is going to say one third. Always get in the habit of doing that. And once we get them labeled, we are going to count up the pieces and see how many pieces or how many thirds are in three holes. We have three thirds here. Now in two holes, we have six thirds. And then in three holes, we have nine thirds. So three, six, nine. We can use our counting by three skills. So nine thirds is the same thing as three holes. And now I'm going to show you that using our foam fractions. There's one third, two third, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, and seven thirds, eight thirds, nine thirds. And you can clearly see that nine thirds is equal to three holes. Okay. Okay, your next question is, how many halves are in four holes? So how many halves are in four holes? So without using our foam fractions first, we are going to draw four holes. And you can do rectangles or you can do circles, whichever, whichever one you want to do. I'm just going to do circles, try to make them the same. Four holes. And we know that we're going to divide each circle in half. And that's pretty easy. And of course, the next we're going to do our labeling. Label each fractional unit. Each piece is one half. Now, I want you to write the fraction of how many halves are in four holes. Go ahead and write that and let's see if you have it correct. Four, I'm just gonna write out the word holes, is equal to how many halves. Now notice that our denominator is gonna be a two because we're divided into two equal parts. So the denominator is going to stay a 2, but the numerator is definitely going to be larger than the denominator because we have more than one whole. And we know that if it was two halves, that would be one whole. But it's not two halves. It's not one whole. It's actually four holes. So go ahead and write what you think the numerator is. And let's count it up. One half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, seven halves, eight halves. So four holes is equal to eight halves. And you will be seeing a question like this next week on your problem of the day. So be sure that you understand it. And if you don't, you can comment with any questions you might have.